The last page of the 101 is for assets with unknown fund type. An item will end up on the unknown fund type page if the item does not have a fund in item screen, the item has a fund in item screen, but it's missing an EIS means fund screen, or the item has a fund in item screen and fund screen, but the associated fund type is missing in fund screen. In order to fix this, you can check for any missing fund codes or fund types in fund screen. If there are any missing, go ahead and add them in that program. Or you can generate a 304 for capitalized assets with an active status and scan the fund column for items with a missing fund. If you find any missing ones, post transfer transactions to add them. There may also be an amount in the report defined as acquisitions prior to system startup. This amount may be made up of items without an associated acquisition record. In order to fix this, find the tags that make up this amount by generating both a 304 and a 203 for capitalized items with the status of active sorted by tag number. The 304 contains all capitalized active items in item screen, whereas the 203 is looking at the same in acquisition transaction program. Compare the two reports and look for tags which appear on the 304, but not on the 203. If you find missing acquisition transaction records, add an historical acquisition transaction record for the tag entering the same date as an item screen, a fund dimension, the original cost as the acquisition amount, and the update original cost flag set to no. Also make sure that the error adjustment flag is set to yes, so that it shows in as, as an adjustment on the gap change schedules instead of a true acquisition. Another reason may be items where the fund dimension on the account code in acquisition transaction is missing. Run a 203 for capitalized items with the status of active and scan the fund dimension on the account code to look for items with missing funds. If you find missing funds, modify the acquisition transaction record to add the fund dimension. Another reason may be items where the sum of all acquisitions for an item is less than the item's original cost. The difference is included on the acquisition prior to system startup total. This particular error will generate an EIS error.txt report. The next slide details this error. An EIS error text report is only generated for items where the total of acquisitions for the tag is greater, greater than the tag's original cost. It will display the total amount of all acquisitions for this item and the item's original cost so that you can see the difference. If the original cost on the item record is correct, then post an acquisition transaction record with a negative amount for the difference and set the update original cost flag to no. The acquisitions will now be in balance with the original cost. If the sum of the acquisition transactions is the correct value, you need to increase the original cost without increasing the acquisition transaction total. To go about doing that, in my example, the total acquisition amount is correct. First, I'm going to post a new acquisition transaction for the difference, which is one penny, and set the update original cost flag to yes. This will increase the original cost. However, in the process, the acquisition transaction total has also been increased. To offset this, post another acquisition transaction record with a negative for the difference between the acquisition total and the original cost and set the update original cost flag to no. Since the second acquisition transaction record did not update the original cost, the totals will now be equal. Also, only the acquisition transaction record with the update original cost flag set to yes will be picked up on the 103 report.